Hi, thanks for checking out our channel here, another one of our videos. We've got uh, 650 plus videos on YouTube as of July of 2021 when, when we're making this video. So hopefully you like this kind of stuff. If you want to send us something for repair, you can look us up there, fencerfixer.com, email or call or text me. We do work on all brands and ages of these, of these electric fence boxes. We also work on livestock scales and low bars and EID tag readers. There's, there's our website for that, cattlescalerepair.com and our address ship something to us but uh, we're going to take a look at this old style Gallagher Info Hunter this is a uh, started making this model back in the early 90s but this is a later version of the 2003 model 03 is the year it was built and 37 is a week of that year so it was built in the 37th week of 2003 some of the numbers on, some numbers on the front or bottom above, above the knobs sometimes they're up here the older ones were up here somewhere and uh, prior to 1999, like 98, 97, um, somewhere in that range, they, they before that, they had a, just a sequential code number, a serial number. They didn't have any kind of um, serial number typed in with it, or a um, date with it. It was just a um, uh, sequential number. There was no date in it. So the only date you might find on is on the inside. It might have been sticker if it's still legible. But those were, you know, 25, 30 year ago old units so I need to get this apart I need a couple screwdrivers here or something to pop this thing apart that one that one won't work let's try this one all right the note on it says 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 uh, just not working so what does that mean but we'll plug it in here and see what that is. A 110, 120 volt unit. What should happen when I put my switch on my power strip there, this light should go, glow green. It's a power light. It's the Energizer OK light. It's that green one. And the red one on this side right here should flash the fence OK light. So if the fence is nice and hot, the voltage is nice and high, the red light should flash with every pulse. All right, it doesn't do anything. The light doesn't come on, doesn't click or anything. So, well, might just be lucky and be a fuse. No, fuse is good. Hear the meter beeping. So, fuse is fine. But it won't light up. All right, let's turn the light on so we can see what we're doing a little bit. All right, so let's... um. Pull this board off. It could be the capacitor, but it's right there. But typically, if those go bad, it will still come on and give me a light or something. So let's test it real quick. Put my meter on capacitance, which is that little yellow symbol right there above my finger. This is a 20 microfarad capacitor. There's no polarity to it, so we'll test here. It is bad. It doesn't read anything. But maybe that's all that it is. Usually, if the capacitor goes bad, it will still light up. That looks to be original. That's the old style capacitors that they used to use. You say it's a 20 microfarad, 1200 volt capacitor. Let's check it now. Just without those little tabs on there, maybe we can. Got a bad connection or something. Put it back to capacitance. Should read 20. Nothing. Okay, well, the capacitor's junk. Alright, got another capacitor here. This is a from a different model brand but it is a 20 microfarad capacitor as well the only thing is it has wires coming out of it versus these tabs you know that plugged up in the board so what we got to do is we got to make this thing fit but it'll work just fine it's the same same rating and everything so what I want to do is I want to because these wires are way too long
and I'm just going to cut them like this. And I need to, no, this ought to be all right. So I need to, I need a couple of uh, male spade connectors. And that's what's, what we're going to use a plug up into our board. Two different sizes. I want to get the same size for both of them. Twist that up, slide that on like that, and we'll crimp it. All right, so now we'll put this thing right here. If this works, well, I don't think because it is a little bit smaller around in the circumference, so it will hold. But see, it wiggles and wobbles. So I'll put some double-sided tape or something like that underneath there to hold hold that in place. But let's go ahead and um, slide that down, and then we need to plug the wires back up into these little slots right here seat it down so it goes all the way onto the capacitor or transformer power the light on the power oh, look at that that's all that it was it was just that capacitor I thought Hmm. I guess it was totally dead. That's why it wouldn't come on. Maybe if it has a little bit of you know capacitance in it, it will it will read something. But um, no, that one's going just fine now. One thing I did notice: it doesn't doesn't technically matter as long as you know what you're reading. These knobs are on backwards. Read your fence, and it even says on the board fence and ground fence and earth so the one on the right is your fence which is red and one on the left is ground or earth which is green all right let's try this again test it put voltmeter on there and see what it reads got a Gallagher Fault finder with its ground probe attached to it. We're getting 8.3 kV, right where it's supposed to be. Now we'll put a, let's see what kind of spark it throws. Nice hot shot coming from it. So. This one's done. I mean, we'll do a load test on it here in a little while, but other than that, it, electrically, it's done. Oh, I need to um, put that double-sided stuff on there. Actually, no, we don't. It's fine. It'll be all right. Once you put the board on there and put the case, I ain't going nowhere, so we don't have to worry about that. Put the screw back in it. And now we're done. Clicking and flashing. So another one's done and on to the next one. So if you got any questions, want to get a hold of us, want to send something to us, there's our address. There's our phone number and everything. Like I said, there's it, it just links in the description area. Of the videos, hit the little drop down arrow, click on the link, take it to our web websites and stuff. So, hopefully, you enjoy this kind of stuff. And if you got one that needs to be worked on, send it in. We'll give you a free quote on it. And whatever repairs we do to a unit gets an 18 month warranty.
So until next time, we'll see you later on.